she like rolled and looked over and just like smiled at me like this like big smile of like like it's okay wow it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah fuck with me Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a dirty, dirty one here for you today. Uh, I'm so excited to eat this. Looking beautiful. We got some creations, amalgamations, some of the fan favorites up front. Those buffalo wangs. A couple dirty McDubbies back here with some chicken nuggets on them and mayo that I added. So there's that. These Franken creations, which are going to be delicious couple sauces on the side and some juicy juicy gossip maybe one of the most sought after <clears throat> personal uh, things that you can tell a person or what people look to hear on the internet a lot about relationships and breakups without further ado let's get to the food and then I'll tell you about my current life status because I think a lot of you have had sneaking suspicions I've had some comments over the months and stuff asking me about the status of my relationship with Miss Hoodie, as you guys know her, or my girl or my girlfriend. Um, and uh, we'll get to that. So I'm going to kick things off immediately with one of these bergs. I'm just feeling that berg. Mm-hmm. Take, take a look at that. Nuggets over here also killing my vibe a little bit. Got to open up the playing field. You know what I'm saying? All right. First bite. And then story time. Lower in heaven. For food, this fake and dirty should not taste as good, but I guess that's why it does. If you've never nuggeted a burger, correct your life and please do so immediately because it is so good. All right, let's get to the point. As some of you have suspected for, suspected for some time, me and Miss Hoodie are no longer together romantically involved. It's kind of been, you know, sort of like a slow process, like a few over the course of a few months. And for anybody who's ever been in a long term relationship, you'll know that a lot of times it's kind of how it goes. You know. You don't spend three years with somebody. And uh, have it just part ways like so quickly, you know? It's a bit of a process. You're kind of splitting up and then You know, there's still love there. Still a lot of feelings. So you kind of find your way back to each other a little bit. And then you realize, okay, this isn't really like working uh, again. And so you sort of drift again. And you just like eventually get to a point where it's like, Slowly but surely, you're letting each other go more and more each time, but uh, it kind of takes that time. And now I'm at the point where it feels like I didn't want to make this video until it felt like truly official. I'm going to BBQ this bad boy. And at this juncture, it's like pretty much legitimately like we're not like, I don't think we'll ever find our way back to each other romantically again, but 
That being said, I want to tell you guys this is that it was a mutual breakup, a mutual parting ways. And there's no hard feelings. It wasn't like a dirty, messy thing. It's just that we both, over time, we're getting to the point where it's like, Something's missing here. There's definitely components of our, our relationship that weren't on the hundred level, like parts that were just not not adding up, and you know weren't good for our mental health and stress levels and things like that. Just there, there are parts of it that were amazing because like. We, we just have such a good mental connection, like one of the strongest connections I've ever had with a human being. Obviously, I wouldn't choose to spend three years of my life uh, otherwise. But certain components of the relationship were just not there anymore. So we have to be true to ourselves and face the reality and face the facts, even though that's really difficult to let somebody go that you still really love and care for. And like, you still are definitely like have that connection and all that love and history and, um, sort of thing but I say that to say this as that we're still friends we're all good she's still one of my best friends and that's the other thing too that is a realm of a breakup is very tricky to, to navigate because you still want to hang out with her as you know your friend connection but that could easily you could easily slip on that And sort of send yourself back into a relationship or whatever, but I think we're past that point now where it's like we're good at being friends. Like it's all like we're not slipping back into the relationship. The other thing that's difficult with that is If you have some new shit going on at all, to any degree, like neither of you want to hear each other's new shit. At least not immediately, maybe in a little while. But while you're still pretty fresh, into the splitting, like, you don't really want to hear about like some dude or She doesn't want to hear about some girl or whatever, so. That's a uh, bit of a 
weird one to deal with, but you just gotta keep certain shit private when you're hanging out with friends. If there's anybody watching that has done this and has like an ex that's a friend and it's like actually legitimately works and you've been able to move forward as friends, let me know below or let me know your story if it did, did or didn't work out or whatever. There's a ghost in my house. Really, it was just this like sponge thing falling into the sink or scrubber. Pardon the cartilage. So, I guess I tell you that to tell you this. Well, a couple things. The first thing is that I'm a little conflicted about what to do about her and I's videos that are up here on my channel. To take them down or whatever. I'm debating taking them down just out of respect for her. She hasn't requested it, but I don't know. I just don't see the point in leaving them up. When it could potentially affect her life somehow in the future. I think it'd just be a solid move to, to remove them. And I don't know. I don't know if some of you watch those anymore at all, but probably not. They're pretty old. So I don't know if that'll be detrimental to anybody. Let's just go for a big barbecue splash. Everybody into the barbecue pool. Mmm. Wow. Dirty. That's dirty. See, so yeah, I'm minorly conflicted about the videos and. Also, this happened to me last night when I was sleeping. I had, like, the most terrifying, horrific dream I've ever had in my life. Regarding her. And, you know, I don't know, dreams, you know, people say dreams are, like, have symbolism and, you know, they mean shit. They're trying to tell you shit in your life. I don't know if that's all true or whatever, but I had a crazy dream so vivid, but in the dream, like she was no longer talking to me even as a friend anymore. And it was like, I was like dead to her essentially. And then I remember we were like, we were in like this building, almost like an office building kind of thing. Um, and we were like ascending up, like we were walking up these ramps to like go up to like a higher floor. And uh, the whole time I was walking up these ramps with her. I was like stating my case of like, you know, how important she was to me and how much she meant to me. And like, I was trying to like, kind of get her to at least be my friend again. And she was just being like really harsh and cold about it. So we, we eventually got to the top floor. Of this, you know, whatever building. And there was like this huge escalator that she like stepped on this escalator. For some reason, it was like a down escalator. And as she stepped onto it and I was about to step onto it as well, just before I could get my foot on the escalator, the escalator just fully like collapsed from underneath. Like it fell out, like the floor fell out from underneath. And I just watched her like plummet to her death and just smacked. Like she like smoked her head and her head like was bleeding and shit and like 
on like this you know hard ass floor below and she was like down there like laying what i thought was dead so i freaked out panicking like run down and in the dream by the time i got down there like somehow she had been like already taken off to a medical like to the hospital to be looked after and but and then i heard some shit like on like a radio like uh unconscious like critical condition but still like has like a pulse and shit like still alive but like severe head trauma or so whatever and so like i was like on this mission to get to the hospital to like you know try to make sure she'd be like her hope she pulled through and um i was able to eventually get there and then and get up to the room after some time and, like, I look through, like, you know, like, the blinds or whatever. Like, you can see into the, the room of, like, the critical condition person. And, like, in the dream at this point, she was conscious with, like, all this, like, head wrap. And, like, she was in, like, this bed, like, in the upright position. And um, I just remember, like, she, like, rolled and looked over and just, like, smiled at me. Like, this, like, big smile of, like, like, it's okay. Wow. sirens wow pardon me i got emotional but yeah she like turned and smiled and was like it just was like indication of like i'm okay like everything's okay and so that's how like this morning like i woke up this morning like like this like half in like in a, in a half cry <laughs> and uh, uh yeah and it just tripped me out like that it was such a crazy dream so I immediately like wanted to text her and tell her about it and stuff, but I have yet to have done that. I just don't know if it's necessary or whatever. I'm sure she'll just be like, oh my God, that's kind of like not hilarious, but she'll be like, you know, she'll be like, oh, okay. That's intense, but I'm still alive and I'm fine. All right, I'm at the point where I've told you everything I need to tell you. And I'm pretty full. Right, maybe I'll have one more wing before we call it here. This burger's sogged out and done. One more wing. So yeah, if you guys have any stories or whatever regarding shit, shit like this experiences leave it down below mm, delicious you guys know what it is until the next one so eat good live well and stay true Cheers.